While the kids do their homework, Victoria observes Diego's love for eating paper. Ah. Okay. So if I went to go try and get it, if I went to put, ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. I try and get it away with my foot. Ah, oh, ha, ha. When I tried to get the paper back from him, it, he showed signs that he was going to bite me. At one point, he attempted to, and I knew to back off. I mean, I don't want to get bitten by this dog, and if I pressed him, I knew I would. How many times would you say he's bitten you trying to get things away from him? Maybe like 10 times. <laughs> See, he bit me trying to take paper. It was Ooh. like gushing out blood. He just like snapped at me. Would you like to be able to take things away from him safely? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot of work ahead of us with this dog. Brittany, Brian, and Antonio are perhaps the only kids in the country who can truly say the dog ate their homework. Diego is a resource guarder. When he gets something in his mouth, like a pencil or a piece of paper, that's his. And don't you dare take it away. All right. I'm going to teach Diego to give things up. Yay! <laughs> now, some objects I think he will easily give up. But I think there are others of higher value, for example, paper, that are going to be more difficult. So we might have to do a trade there. But either way, this is going to be completely non-confrontational. The take it and drop it commands will help the family retrieve objects from Diego's jaws and eliminate the risk of being right. bitten when pulling things out of the dog's mouth. We're just going to make it a game. When you make it a game, dog feels less threatened and is less likely to bite you. OK, so I'm going to show you how it's done. And then, to Neil, you're going to do a little bit of this. OK. First of all, I'm going to give him this. Oh, he's a good boy. Take it. Good boy. But then I'm going to refocus. That's boring, and I'm going to focus on this. And he drops it, doesn't he? <gasps> So you're not concentrating on the dog. You're instead going, mm, mm hmm mm hmm And the dog goes, oh, what do you have? That's much more exciting than what I have. Mm -hmm. That's what the whole game's all about. The fact is, when he releases something, I say drop it. Mm -hmm. When I give him something and he opens his mouth to take it, I say take it. So it becomes this game. Okay. Drop it, <laughs> take it. Good boy. <laughs> drop it, take it. Woo, good boy. <laughs> Victoria gets to Neil to try out the new commands. As soon as he drops it out of his mouth, say drop it. Okay. Yeah. Look at Diego. <gasps> Look at this. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Drop it. Good boy. Take it. Good boy. Pomeranians and Chihuahuas, I mean, they always get the bad rap for just being aggressive little nippers and biters and that they don't have much intelligence up top. They are smart. Smart, smart. And Diego just proved that. Now that Diego is familiar with the commands, Victoria raises the stakes and introduces Diego's favorite object. Now, here, the dog's got paper in his mouth, so this is what you do. Ta-da! <laughs> paper is much more high value to Diego. That's it. That's what he loves. So I had to use something even better than paper to get his attention, and food was it. Let's try it again. Go get it. Drop it. I was so proud of Diego when he dropped the paper. He just needed that little extra push. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.